Why is nicotine bad for your spine? There are many theories as to why this happens in patients that use nicotine products. We know that nicotine can increase oxidative stress in our body and increase inflammation in our body, as well as cause vasoconstriction. Vasoconstriction is basically where you have a blood vessel that's of a normal diameter and it can get narrowed or constricted. That can be whether or not you're smoking nicotine, like in cigarettes or vape, it can be chewing tobacco or dip, which it's absorbed through the bloodstream, or even patches or gum. If we talk about our spine, we have bones and discs in our spine that allows us to bend, twist, and move. And inevitably, by lifting something heavy or doing something abnormal, we can injure the discs in our back. Our body repairs that injury by delivering blood flow to the disc and providing oxygen and nutrients to allow our spine to heal. If we have decreased blood flow to our spine, you can imagine that impairs our body body's ability to heal any type of injury. And that's how nicotine impairs the healing of any type of injury in our back. And most patients that I see that are nicotine users do have some element of degenerative disc disease and that is significantly accelerated if you continue to use nicotine products. Not only does nicotine cause vasoconstriction, which causes heart disease, lung disease, peripheral vascular disease even, and atherosclerosis of our blood vessels, but the oxidative stress can impair our body's ability to heal. And in addition to that, it can actually weaken our bones and accelerate the development of osteopenia and even osteoporosis. Our bones being weak increases our risk of fracture and even fractures in our back called compression fractures. The last thing I wanna mention is that smoking can decrease our ability to form new bone. So in cases of spinal fusion, where we put in hardware in the spine and try to get one bone to grow to another bone, the ability for our body to form that bony formation in a spinal fusion is significantly reduced and can increase the risk of what's called pseudoarthrosis or a failed spinal fusion. And that's the point I was trying to get across with this picture is this patient had a failed spinal fusion and had massive catastrophic hardware failure rod breakage, and the screws are even poking through his skin. I think often in medicine, we really focus on how bad smoking is on your heart and lungs, but I think it's equally as bad in our spine and could lead to chronic pain and disability.